Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to explain various ways of identifying angles in parallel lines. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. To start with, what are parallel lines? Parallel lines are lines having equal distance between them. For example, if I have two straight lines as shown, they are parallel if the distance between them are equal. For example, if it's x centimeters, this will always also be x centimeters. And the easiest way of identifying parallel lines in any question is the use of arrows as shown. If you have arrows on the two lines, or if there are more lines, and you have the same type of arrows on them, then the two lines are parallel lines. Talking about alternate angles, they are equal and are identified using the set shape. For example, if I have two parallel lines as shown, I'm going to put my arrows to show that they're parallel lines and I have any line crossing the parallel line. To identify your alternate angles, the end of a Z are the parallel lines. So for example, if you look at the highlighted shape as shown, the inner angle of your Z shape are your alternate angles. So therefore, if I have this as X, then this will also be X. Note that the Z shape can be forward facing or backward facing. It can also be N. For example, if I have the parallel lines as shown below, looking for my Z, I have it as shown. Therefore, the angles of my Z are my alternate angles. So if this angle is Y, this angle will also be Y. The next angle I'm going to show you are my corresponding angles. For example, if I have the parallel lines as shown, I'm going to indicate that with my arrow, and I have a line crossing my parallel line, looking for the F shape, I have a straight line and the ends or the legs of my F as my parallel lines, the angles inside the corners or the leg are corresponding angles. So therefore, I have, I'm going to put an arrow as shown. If this value is X, then this angle is also X. Also remember, the F can be forward facing or backward facing, up or down. In the second example, for example, this will be a f an upward facing F such that the inside of my F are corresponding angles. So if this is Y, this will also be Y because corresponding angles are equal. Let's look at the third example. For co-interior angles, that will be your U shape. For example, if I have the parallel lines as shown, I light in my U shape, the ends of the U are the parallel lines. Therefore, the internal angle as shown, if I call this A and B, the sum of the internal angles add up to 180 degrees. So the difference between co-interior angles when compared with the other two parallel line angles are co-interior add up to 180 degrees. However, corresponding angles are equal and alternate angles are also equal. Using another diagram as shown, I have my parallel lines. If I highlight my U shape, then the co-interior angles as shown, if I call this X and Y, I have X plus Y equals 
180 degrees. In summary, using the FUN acronym in remembering all the angles and parallel lines, we have the first one, corresponding angles, using our F. I'm going to highlight my F as shown and the angles inside are corresponding, they are equal. The second one, co-interior angles, that's your U, as I lighted below, I'm going to put the symbol of parallel lines as shown. This angle and this angle are co-interior and add up to 180 degrees. The last angle, that's your alternate angle, that's your Z. Remember the ends of your Z are parallel lines. You have the angles at the corner or inside your Z and they are equal. Let's look at the following example for illustration. In the first example, to find x, the first step is to identify my parallel lines. I'm going to do that by lighting my parallel lines. And then I can see a line crossing my parallel line as shown, such that I have the z and the angles inside will be alternate angles. So therefore I have the value of x equals to 48 degrees and the reason being alternate angles alternate angles remember are equal in the second example like I did earlier I'm going to start by identifying my parallel lines I do that by highlighting and then I have the line crossing my parallel lines such that I have my F symbol and note that X is equal to 52 degrees and the reason being they are corresponding angles. Note that to identify corresponding angles, the angles must be inside the arm of your F. In my last set of examples, like I did earlier, I'm going to start by identifying my parallel lines as shown. Then I have the line crossing my parallel lines that's forming a U, such that the angles inside my U are co-interior angles. So therefore, the value of X plus 65 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. The reason being they are co interior angles. Therefore, x is equal to 180 degrees minus 65 degrees. And that will give us x equals 115 degrees. In my last example, I have the ends of the parallel lines as shown. I have the line crossing it, and if you look closely, the angles given are inside our F, that's corresponding angles, so therefore the value of X equals 71 degrees, the reason being they are both corresponding angles, and the corresponding angles are equal. Thanks for watching. Bye.